warm welcome to everyone taking time out of their day to join me for Tuesday Tips with Taylor. Here at Always Best Care, we strive to provide solely non-medical care for our clients of the same quality we'd provide that care for a loved one. April is Parkinson's Awareness Month. According to the Parkinson's Foundation, there are almost 1 million people in the U.S. alone diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, with about 4% being diagnosed before the age of 50. Parkinson's is more common in men than women and is the second most common neurodegenerative disease, with Alzheimer's being the most common. Parkinson's affects the neurons in the brain that are responsible for producing dopamine. About 15% of Parkinson's cases are linked to genetics, but can also be linked to environmental factors like exposure to certain metals, chemicals, and in the case of some of our veterans, exposure to Agent Orange or other herbicides, according to the Veterans Administration. There are several symptoms that are associated with Parkinson's, like tremors, stiffness of the body, freezing of the gait, poor speech, and sleep disorders. Some of the more common sleep problems include difficulty falling or staying asleep, vocal outbursts during sleep, restless restless leg syndrome, and REM sleep behavior disorder, or RBD. About 50% of people living with Parkinson's experience RBD, which causes the body to make jerking movements, talking during sleep, and acting out dreams. During RBD, the muscles in the body don't relax like they normally would during our dream state, which is what causes the physical movements during sleep. If you or a loved one are experiencing RBD, there are a few things that you can do for treatment, which include speaking to your physician about an over-the-counter remedy like melatonin or a prescription like clonazepam. Making modifications to the environment are good as well, like putting a barrier between the person with Parkinson's and their partner, or putting padding on the floor if someone is at risk of falling out of bed during RBD. There are several resources available for people living with Parkinson's. If you're newly diagnosed, it's important to make sure that you're visiting a movement disorder specialist for treatment and monitoring. You can also visit the American Parkinson's Disease Association, the Parkinson's Foundation, and the Michael J. Fox Foundation for information on clinical trials, support groups, exercise programs, and engagement opportunities to maintain quality of life. Additionally, if you or a loved one are looking for support at home, you can visit our website using the link in the description for a guide on what to expect with Parkinson's disease and how a non-medical home care agency like Always Best Care can help through that journey. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Always Best Care has been providing solely non-medical in-home care since 2009. If you're interested in learning more about our services or our assisted living selection services, please give us a call at 860-533-9343 or you can visit our website at www.abccentralct.com. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram too so that we can show you how better options for senior living are a priority.